my wife. <laughs> Excuse me, why are you sitting here and sobbing your eyes out like that? Do you need any help? I have a 22-year-old wife at home. What does that have to do with you sitting here crying? She wakes me up every morning and makes me pancakes, sausage, fresh fruit, and <laughs> freshly ground coffee. She's a good wife. You are so lucky. Right. Well, then why are you crying? Did she do something? She makes me homemade soup for lunch and my favorite cookies. Then she cleans the house and watches sports with me for the rest of the afternoon. She takes care of you very well. Did she betray you or something? For dinner, she makes me a gourmet meal with wine and my favorite dessert. So why were you crying like that? I don't understand. Well, I woke up because it's cold out here. <laughs> what? Are you serious? My old wife at home locked the door since I was a bit drunk. Now I understand why you dreamt like that. Married men only. You know what? What's that? A new factory in our town is recruiting employees. That's good. There will be a lot of people there who can have a job. But... But what? They only recruit married men. Really? How funny is that? Why? I have no idea. That's interesting. I'll try to make an appointment for an interview. Good idea. You are a journalist. And for the most important question, why is your requirement for employees to be married men? It's our strategy. Is it because you think women are weak, unintelligent, cantankerous, or what? Not at all, ma'am. There are many people in this town who don't have a job and want to work here, but they can't due to your requirement. Please rest assured that we are very supportive of gender equality. We do not discriminate between men and women. We value everyone's working ability. It is because our employees are used to obeying orders, are accustomed to being shoved around, know how to keep their mouths shut, and don't pout when I yell at them. What? As you can see, married men are the most suitable. Do it again, Dad. <gasps> what happened? Why are you crying? Calm down, Tommy. Tell me what's wrong. I swallowed a coin. I'm going to die. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Don't say that. It's okay. That's right. Just a coin. You won't die. Don't think so. Believe me. I'm not a kid anymore. I know I will die. <laughs> Tommy, listen. We won't let that happen. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. Farewell. Tommy! I have an idea. Tommy, I have a way to get the coin out. Don't be scared. What are you doing with my ears? Ta-da! Here's the coin. Is this the coin I swallowed? Of course. You can't feel the coin inside you anymore, right? That's right. Oh my god! How did you do that? Great! So now you are okay. You are so amazing, Dad. You're like a magician. You are fine now. It's time to go to bed.
Dad, wait. Tommy! Do it again, Dad. Age of the leg. How can I help you today? Doctor, please help me. I have terrible pain in one of my legs. I don't know why. Have you been in pain for a long time? About a month ago, I felt a little sore, but I thought it was the weather. But for the last few days, I almost died from the pain. I can't stand it. Was there any accident or impact that happened? No, there wasn't. Okay, I got it. Let me have a check. I've checked your leg and done some necessary procedures. There is no specific problem at all. So why is my leg in pain? You know, it's terrible. I understand. I am sorry, but this could happen due to old age. Old age? Right. As old age approaches, you will feel the pain coming from your bones, specifically your legs. It's normal, and I can't help but prescribe you some pain relievers. Some light exercise every day can also help reduce the pain. You're so funny. Are you really a doctor? Excuse me? How can you misdiagnose a patient like that? I can't believe you can work here. What are you saying? You have no expertise. You are giving stupid diagnostics. How come you say that I know nothing and I have no expertise? It's quite obvious you're wrong. Tell me. Okay. Let me ask you. You said it was because of old age. My other leg is of the same age, too. But why does it feel no pain at all? The Perfect Girl You know, it's time for you to have someone by your side. I know. Haven't found anyone you like? I did, but when I introduced them to my parents, my mom didn't like them. Really? When I brought my wife home, my parents and her got along together very harmoniously. You are so lucky. I hope my mom is a little more easygoing. Hey, why don't you try to find a girl who is the same as your mother? That's a good idea. Hey, Fred. Celebrating already? Will I hear good news from you this time? Well... Did you find the perfect girl? Did your mother like her? Henry, I found the perfect girl, as you said. She was just like my mom. How was your mom's reaction? You were right. My mom liked her very much. That's great. Problem solved. So when are you getting married? I'm not. What's wrong this time? My dad, he doesn't like her. He said that my mom is enough. Riddles of the Alphabet I have a lot of riddles here. We will answer them as soon as possible, and I will count how many correct answers you got. Will we have prizes? Of course. That's great. I will win. Okay, let's start. What letter of the alphabet is in an insect? It's B, because it's a B. Good job. What letter is a part of the head? Me! Letter I. I. Well done. What letter is a drink? I know. It's tea, a teacup. Exactly. What letter is a body of water? Body of water? What's that? C. That's right, the C. 
Oh, I just guessed. <laughs> what letter is a pronoun like you? I know the letter I. Wow, you guys did a really good job. What letter is a vegetable? P. I love peas. One more point for you. What letter is an exclamation? It's O, like O. What letter is looking for causes? I use this letter every day. It's the letter Y. Y. You are so good. What four letters frighten a thief? O I C U. O I C U. I have been asked this question before. Oh, that's fun. Right. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but not once in a thousand years? Letter M, right? Yes. Why is the letter T like an island? Because it is in the middle of water. Smart girl. In what way can the letter A help a deaf lady? It's too hard. I don't know. Oh, I know, because it can make her hear. Oh God! In what way are the letter A and noon alike? Both of them are in the middle of the day. All of you are really good. Why does the letter U always laugh? Why? I know, because it is in the middle of fun. Oh, I got it. That's tricky. What relatives are dependent on you? It's so hard. I have some hints for you. Think about the letter in the name of relatives. Ah, uh, aunt, uncle, cousin. They all need you. Good. And the last one. What is the end of everything? The letter G. That's the end of the word everything. Well done. All of you did a great job. Let me see who the winner is. We use formal language in situations that are serious or that involve people we don't know well. Informal language is more commonly used in situations that are more relaxed and involve people we know well. Let's learn formal and informal vocabulary with Jessica in the right situations. Hi, sir. Welcome to Rose Diner. Good morning. I am looking for Mr. Justin. You are Mr. Edward, right? Yes, I'm Edward Lockwood. My boss, Justin, has an unscheduled meeting, but it will be over soon. So don't worry. Anyway, I'm Cullen. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Can I get you anything? Yes, please. Any juice would do. Thank you. Here. Thank you. No wonder I have been hearing nice things about this restaurant. I like the ambiance here. Of course, it's the best. I'm not too surprised. Everyone who comes here says the same thing as you. Okay. I heard that this restaurant is the best in catering wedding events. I want your restaurant to hold my sister's wedding reception. Good choice, Mr. Edward. When will the wedding be held, by the way? The wedding will be three months from now. We have the best food and a perfect venue for your event. May I ask? Okay. When does your boss's meeting finish? I don't know when it'll end. Please pass my greetings to your boss. Mr. Justin and I had an appointment today. However, he kept me waiting and didn't offer any apology. He'll say sorry to you when he meets you. He probably asked you to host me, but you should have had more preparation. On top of that, I'm not satisfied with the way you converse with your customers regarding your restaurant. I'm not your friend. 
I'll choose another restaurant for my sister's wedding. But wait! Hey, Cullen, where is Mr. Edward? He left. What? Is he busy? No, he wasn't happy with the way I talked. A potential customer left because of the way you talked. I need an email explaining what happened. And I... I'll call Mr. Edward. I need someone to read and edit my email. What are you doing? You look so sad. Daniel, I need your help. What is the problem? I'm writing an explanatory email to my boss. Please help me check it. Why are you writing an explanatory email? A potential customer left because of me. So, you know. Let's see. <laughs> I can't believe it. What's wrong? I can't believe you start your email with, Hi, Justin. Well, my boss is Justin. I know. However, you can't use the word hi in an email. Replace it with, Dear Mr. Justin, or Dear Sir. Oh, okay. Just wanted to explain to you the reason... When writing an email, especially an email to a boss or client, you must use formal words. Makes sense. Replace it with, I am writing this email today to explain to you the reasons for... Sounds more professional, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't use I think. Use in my opinion. Got it. Look, Colin... What would you replace I'm sorry with? Hmm, I apologize. That's correct. And here. Don't use hope to hear from you soon. Use I'm eagerly awaiting your response. Thank you, Daniel. Don't say love at the end of the email. Use yours sincerely or yours faithfully. I get it. Currently, your email is puff. Thanks, bro. Hey, do you want to go to the bar? Acceptable. I'll treat you, Daniel, as a thank you. Acceptable. What can I get you? I'd like a whiskey sour. And you, sir? I don't know what to drink. Can I get you a whiskey sour like him? Acceptable, thank you. Okay. ASAP, please. I'm a bit thirsty. Sure, I'll get this right away. Thanks. ASAP? What does it mean? ASAP means as soon as possible. Oh, I understand. And can you stop using the word acceptable when we hang out together? Why? When going out or going to a bar or at home, just use informal words like okay, okay, all right, mm-hmm. I'll consider it. You should think about it. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. What the hell did you do? I apologize for the inconvenience I caused. What the hell did you say? I apologize. Now, get out of my way. I will. However, in my opinion, you should speak more politely. Furthermore, you will earn respect from others. I have no communication problems. But you're gonna have some problems here. Hold on, hold on, big bro. Who are you? I'm his friend. So? 
Chill out, bro. What's the big deal? The way he talks annoys me. I see. But he didn't mean to do that. You know, he's a foreigner. He doesn't speak English very well. We're so sorry. Hmm. Just get out of my sight. Are you okay? He's so disagreeable. I know, he's rude. But you can't always talk so seriously or formally. It's not suitable for places like this. Please provide me an example. When talking to me, a friend, instead of saying, please provide me an example, say, please show me, or just show me. Acceptable. Uh, I mean, okay. That's right. And instead of using however, you can use but. Wait a minute, I think I forgot my ring in the bathroom. I'll have to check again. When I come back, please show me more. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, miss, may I know your name? I'm Tiffany. My name is Daniel. There are numerous people here, but I only see you. Um, okay. Did you come here alone? Yes. I came here with a friend. Do you often go to this bar? Not much. And you? I have been here approximately ten times. Do you have a hobby that you do on a daily basis? On a daily basis? Yes, I like books. Therefore, I read books on a daily basis. Additionally, I like swimming. Additionally... Um, I need to go to the restroom. What's wrong? Did you meet those guys again? I met a beautiful girl. I went to talk to her, but she seemed scared and left. I know why. Why? Which words did you say? Approximately. Just use about. On a daily basis. Did you really say that? Yes. Oh, my friend. Just say every day. How about additionally? And. Oh, right. How can I impress a girl? By talking. Girls often like guys who are funny and talk simply but sincerely. No need to be too formal. That's her, right. Come and get her phone number. Okay. Good to see you again, Tiffany. Um, hi. Can I get you a glass of whiskey? I'd love to, but sorry. I'm about to go now. Can I have your phone number? I know I'm a stranger. I have been here about ten times, but this is my first time seeing you. I'm afraid I will not see you again. I read books every day. And when I met you, the first word that came to my mind was Barry. Sorry if I bothered you. Wow, you surprised me. Give me your phone. Here. I'm free this weekend. I did it. Good for you. My boss just emailed me that Mr. Edward is no longer angry and has agreed to work with us. My boss also said that I would work with this customer to redeem myself. Good for you. Cheers, Cheers for, for us. us. Description. Have you ever met someone who was so clumsy Anything they touch can strangely break, but do they always mess things up? Watch the video below to see the answer.
Hello, Logan. Hi, Tim. Are you preparing lunch? Yes, it's ready. Oh. It's only been a week, and you've broken two glasses of water. I'm sorry. What are you wearing around your neck? My team just won a baseball tournament at school. Congratulations. My team trained hard together. This is what we deserve. When I was a kid, I loved watching baseball games, but I've never played one. Why? I don't know how to play. You can try out or join the baseball team at school. Can you teach me how to play baseball? Me? Yes. Please. Okay, fine. Thank you so much. When can we start? Next week. <gasps> Logan, what are you doing? Sorry, Tim. I didn't mean to tear your baseball glove. What? How could you? Why didn't you ask me first? Yesterday, you left it here. This morning, I was curious and tried to put it on. I didn't mean to... I know you never meant to destroy anything, but as soon as they get into your hands, they are destroyed. I know. I'm an unlucky person. Not about luck. You're so clumsy. My parents also said I was clumsy. I'm trying really hard to be less clumsy, but it's hard for me. Okay. Let's go to the sporting goods store. Will you buy a new one? No, you'll buy it for me. Oh, okay. Can I help you? I'm looking for a baseball glove. Please follow me. These are Marucci gloves. They are so beautiful. I like this one. It's designed for a lightweight feel and increased fielding control. Its size is 12.75 inches. How much is it? It's $59. The price is pretty good. Yes, and a six-month warranty. Only a six-month warranty? Yes. My old gloves have a one-year warranty. If you want a longer warranty period, you can refer to Wilson Gloves. One-year warranty. Wow, I love them. I want to buy one from Wilson. What do you think, Logan? Where is he? Its leather is preferred for its rugged durability. It dries sweat quickly to keep the hand cool and dry. How much? It's $300. I think I'll take a Marucci glove. What sound is that? Why do I feel bad? I'm really sorry. A long scratch. I just picked it up and try it and accidentally scratched it. What should I do? There's only one way. You have to buy that baseball bat. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye. At least I have my own baseball bat. Logan, listen. The five most important basic rules in baseball are balls and strikes, 
tagging up, force outs, tag outs, and nine players allowed in the lineup. Balls and strikes, tagging up, force outs, tag outs, and nine players allowed in the lineup. Good. Any questions? Who are the nine players? We have a pitcher, catcher, first baseman, second baseman, third baseman, and shortstop. Oh my god! What did you do? I broke the car window. You broke the window of the Ferrari? What should we do? I don't know. Should we stay, wait for the owner of this car and apologize? No, no, no. If it's a tough guy forcing you to pay for it, you won't have enough money to pay. That's a Ferrari. You're right. Let's flee. Okay, let's go. Hey, Tim. Should I go to confession? Why can't I stop thinking about that car? Don't worry. Forget it. The rich owner must have overlooked that. How do you know? Because it's been a few days, and we're still safe. Who is that? Why do I feel so bad again? Hi. Oh, no. Hi. I'm Sam. I'm a local police officer. Hello, sir. What can we do for you? Three days ago, two of you went to the sporting goods store at 7 King Street, right? Three days ago? We... we... We were at home three days ago because we're going to have a final test. Yes, an important exam. We need to learn. We checked the security cameras and found you had broken the window glass of the Ferrari. When you drove out of the parking lot, we saw your license plates. I'm so sorry, sir. Please forgive me. Please follow me to the police station. Police station? This is Monica, the owner of that car. This is Tim and Logan. He accidentally broke your car window with a baseball bat. Hello, Ms. Monica. I'm so, so, so sorry because... Thank you so much, Logan. Huh? Because I broke your car window. And you thanked me? The fact that Logan broke the window of her car accidentally saved her car from being stolen. What? what? How could that happen? That day, I parked my car there. There were many important and valuable things in my car. I know. How do you know? I guess she is indeed a rich woman. After seeing that my car window was broken, I reported it to the police. Luckily, the things in my car are still there. Of course, I didn't steal anything, I swear. I know. I checked the security cameras and saw that Logan accidentally broke the window of Monica's car. But right after, you two ran away. On the other side of the car, a thief also ran away. A thief? Yes, he was about to break the car door. Then you two appeared. I guess due to the loud sound of broken glass, the thief was afraid the security would come. So he ran away. I get it. I wonder what was in your car, Monica? A limited edition LV bag 
only five pieces worldwide. A new jacket model in the latest Chanel collection. A limited edition pair of Supreme. I told you. I see. And most importantly, the necklace my mother gave me. I can't imagine if I lost it. The things in the car are more expensive than the car. Thank you very much, Logan. You helped me. You're welcome. Well, turns out being clumsy is not that bad after all. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.